Alright, so I already started by loading a map. We are here in two fort. So I'm gonna go ahead and load a character. You can type HWM to get the highest quality models. Um, I have downloaded some from workshop so you might not see as many but I'm gonna go with medic now to move the camera and objects you have to go to the graph editor or motion editor and since this is a puppeteering guide we are gonna use motion editor all the time so I'm gonna pull the medic and the camera here where I'm floating so you can hold down alt and drag the mouse to bring him to you I'm not gonna go through all the basic positioning tools etc that will be another guide if I will make one So first of all, when we make breathing, we have to start with a pose, of course. So we're gonna make the medic a bit more relaxed. It's like the breathing out phase. That's pretty good. Throw away the backpack. And when you are making breathing, you have to pay most attention to the chest, spine, and face. So we are gonna modify the face as well. is a little bit mean looking medic but it's all changeable so what I'm gonna do here is make the face look like he just let out the breath so that's kind of the letting out breath face, the lower face is relaxed, the nose is uh, <laughs> opened if I could say and the forehead is like coming forward from the scalp so that's the first face now we have to think how deep is the breath so it's hard to say approximately so you can try for yourself hit space bar and take a deep breath about four seconds so here in the halfway I'm going to hold down the shift and click on two second mark and then you can drag these sides or you can just hold down shift and scroll now what this is is a change in the timeline the time goes from left to right so during this time the change is going to occur say I'm gonna turn the twist <laughs> turn the head like that so it's saved here in this line so this is what we are going to do um, the beginning of the action is at zero second and it will end in four um, there are different kinds of a lines how fast the action is going to take. You can mouse over this area and click one, two, or uh, from one to four. You have these different things. I'm going to show it quickly. So one is really straight line. Two is kind of smooth curve. Three, 
kind of happens during the end and for it's this kind of a S so I'm gonna undo that undo that change and I'm gonna go with 4 so all we have to do now is make the breath come in so we're gonna start from lower spine we are just gonna turn it a little bit just one millimeter there then the higher spine you don't want to do too much here it's really easy to overdo this good and I'm gonna twist down the shoulders just a bit too just one pixel there then the neck and head and now we are, have to make the face look like he's drawing the breath in so the eyebrows lift a little bit There's no more frown, no more tension. The eyes open a little bit. The scalp comes back. The eyes open just slightly. The nose takes in the breath. The mouth comes up. Maybe just a little bit of pucker. Good. Now, when we watch the preview, we can see um, it's shaking a lot, like that's really overdoing the breathing. So, how we are going to fix this is we are going to use the ramp tool here. So, as we can see, the line here. From 0 to 4 seconds. These are the changes we have made. So I'm gonna paint this area and apply some smoothing just a little bit and then apply some ramp. Oh, not like that. Smooth. And the ramp makes the line um, directly to go from here to this point. It will undo the changes like this as you can see here now the medic barely moves at all so that's not what we want I'm gonna paint it all the way and apply a little bit of this slider see how it looks pretty good but still the peak point here in these lines is bit too much. Oops, <laughs> I was so silly. I only applied the changes to the lower face of the medic. Then we're gonna apply it to the entire medic except not face just yet. That's good, but we can still see the point here when the lines change the direction, so we're gonna make that look smoother. That's good, that's good. And let's smooth it a little bit here. That's nice. So, here we have the 4 second loop, however we're gonna make this go to infinity is we are gonna copy the samples we just made, then we are going to paste it, there, again, and again, now we have a 15 second breathing loop.
Oh, there's a slight gap here. I'm gonna undo that and make it look better. You have to be quite careful with this. Let's see how it looks. Yes, there is a gap. So how we are going to fix this again is we are simply going to go to the place where the gap happens and we are going to apply the round slider. So that takes away the gap in the timeline. Good. And I'm going to make it more round. Maybe just a little bit more. Good. Now we can copy this. There we go. If you are more careful with this, you don't need to do this patching. But I wasn't so careful when I started doing this. Okay, that's good. You can still smooth and add some sliders and if you feel like it's or extrapolating the breathing in your your attempt, and I'm also gonna show you some puppeteering. Let me move my cat. Standing in front of the screen. So puppeteering is when you just make the timeline go like this, and then you pick some part of the character and you move it around and then it saves the lines you made. That's how simple puppeteering is. So what we are going to do here is we're gonna make the medic kinda of look around here while he's breathing to make him look more alive. There we go. Now it is going to look quite rough because you are moving it with your mouse. So right away you're gonna want to apply some smooth to it. Then I'm gonna go to the eyes. Now, as we can see here, I want to make the eyes and the head move at the same time. So you can see there is a slight delay in the eyes. So we can just paint this timeline here and hold down Alt key and you can move these around so we can make it sync, sync far better like that. And again, when he turns his head, I want the eyes to turn there first. Good. And then we can add some facial features here. The same way we made the first breath. I'm gonna turn the facial expression to the right side. Maybe lift the brow a little. I make Medic blink his eyes here. So again, we make this small, small area here. Go to the upper face. You have to think, what do you look like when you blink your eyes, or <laughs> if you really make the expression, it will help you realize 
how to use these sliders. Now flicking eyes is a really quick phenomenon, so it's just gonna take a really short time here. Good. Now we have the medic and before we look at this more closer I'm gonna add some camera animation too. And I'm also puppeteering the camera so I just hit hit the video to play and I'm moving here in this world. There. I'm going to skip some of the animation. You can see it's still kind of <laughs> walking, stepping. I don't want that. So I'm going to smooth it many times. There, that's pretty good. And basically that's all, <laughs> that's all I have today. Um, so let's go through the steps really quickly here. First you add the model, think how long the bread is, go to the middle point, make the bread loop right here, then you smooth it over until it looks good, then you copy the first four seconds or however long it is, can you paste it again and again and again and then you improve the animation and that's how you get the final result Thank you for watching, remember to like, comment, subscribe and request more if you want some SFM tutorials. Thank you, goodbye.